many people, I'm sure, have a reset G code offset command during the start macro. And this is to reset any previously adjusted and not saved or stored offset before the next print starts. Okay, we're going to do a quick demo here. We have the stock BTT um, beta Z offset macros uh, enabled. So we're just going to home the printer and see how it does. We'll skip ahead here. Okay, we're just homing Z now. We'll do a couple of goes at that. And then it will do three more probes and choose the value in the middle of the three. And then it will show us its chosen offset here. Okay, that's great. And as you can see, it's extremely low, which means uh, my runtime offset has been applied and the, the beta offset system is working currently. Um, and this is great and it will continue to do so and work well until you press this button or one of your macros sends a set G code offset Z zero command. press the clear button and you'll see the offset change uh, and this will default back to the the standard eddy offset without the runtime beta offset applied to it so I'll do that now you can see there we go that's changed and you can see in the console over here that that command was sent uh, so what we can do is we can home Z again and see what value we get here we hopefully should get a low value that we got first time if things are working. So it's doing its probing attempts, getting its value. And unfortunately, as you can see, it has only applied the default eddy offset here. Your user defined runtime offset has not been applied. Um, and it will be this this way basically until you restart Clipper. Okay, we're back up and we can send this command. And there you go, as expected and as it should be, those are correct. So we'll home the printer. Okay, there we have our reading. Uh, it's uh, an expected extremely low value, which is correct. And then we can show those again and those are also correct. But if we do this and then do that, we can see them changed and demonstrate this one more time there we go the value is back up high again but our macro runtime offset is still zero
Hi, here we are, back with my version of the macros files. So what we're going to do, as before, we are going to home the printer and see how it does. And on to Z. Uh, now we're expecting the result here to be very similar to the extremely low value we had previously, but with a few additions over here on the console. So we'll see how it does. We're doing probing for the eddy offsets. And there's our results, right? Okay, it's basically identical to what we had previously with the stock macros and as what we expected. But here you can see the additions. You can tell what it's doing and its calculations that it's done. So it's taken the three probing attempts and used the one that was in the middle of these values. Uh, and it tells you what the probe reading was and what your eddy CFG probe height is set to. It tells you the auto calculated offset for the eddy probe without your runtime offset. Um, and then it tells you your user defined runtime offset. Uh, and then it tells you the results of all of this. Uh, and it says your G code offset should equal this amount. And as you can see, it clearly does. Right now, keep them crossed. If I press the clear button, which is effectively sending the same as what a macro would send, um, by resetting the Z. There we go. We, we've now reset it. So in theory, we should be able to home again and get the low value back, which is not this value. That's just the offset, the eddy offset. We want our runtime offset applied here too. So we're expecting half this. There we go. That's it. It works.